Hi. Today you are going to learn how to create this neon light banner in Blender. Hope you like. Let's go. Start by adding a path. Increase the bevel depth and resolution. Increase the shape resolutions too. Edit your path and form the word you want. It is very important to form the word like this. Help your edition with author views. Take your time to create a pretty result. Give it final details. Play with the bevel and try to increase it. Because you have to duplicate the path and make two parts. External will be the crystal and inner will be the neon light. Duplicate it and decrease the bevel for the inner part. Select the external part and convert it to mesh. You will get this two parts. Now add a cube, and edit it to complete the banner. Create some loop cuts. Delete those faces. Fill the blank parts. You will get this. Hide the rectangle with H. Now this is just a tip. Create a vertex group for the back part of the crystal, it will going to be black, because we don't want to see it. Select the back part with X, raise enabled like this. Then assign it to the vertex group. This will help you to select the back part when you want. Alt plus H to unhide.
Now create the material for the crystal. It is just a principal BSDF with transmission to top, and players you like with IOR. Oh hell I forgot to set this to EV. Go to the material settings and turn on screen space refraction and subsurface translucy. In EV setting, enable screen space refractions too, and turn on refraction. Enable ambient occlusion and bloom. Now for the material of the neon light. Create a new material, and replace principal BSDF for an emission shader. Increase the strength as you like. Now to fix the back part. Create another material after the crystal material. Set color to black and increase the roughness. In edit mode select the back part and hit assign. You will get this. Select the neon light, and play with the bevel start and end. We are going to animate this later, but in this moment I just put this like this to configure it better my crystal material. Add a bump node to the material. Add a noise texture with a high scale. Now play with the bump strength. Add a material for the rectangle and set other emission color if you want. Time to end the scene. I want to move my objects as one. So the best way to do this is to parent the objects to an empty. Add an empty. Select everything and to finish select the empty. Parent them to object. Add camera and position it it. You can enable lock camera to view to position it it better. Add a plane. Scale it to cover your scene. Set world color to black. Add some illumination. First I add area light, but it wasn't the result I want.
so I add point lights and increase the power. Play with bloom settings for a better neon look. In EV shadows set 64px to all, and enable high bit depth. You can render at any moment to visualize better. Ok, now it is time to animate. Set your frame rate to 24 FPS. Go to bevel settings in the geometry of the neon light. Then go to the keyframe you want to start the animation. Set 0 to bevel end, right click and insert keyframe. Go to the keyframe you want the neon light complete. Set end to 1, and repeat the process to add a keyframe. Right click in the keyframes and set interpolation to linear. Now to add the flicker animation repeat the previous proxies, but every one or two keyframes. Repeat this the times you want. Repeat your animation the times you can't consider it is the best. Give some final details. Now time to render the animation. Go to output settings. Choose your output folder. Choose FFmpeg video. In encoding container choose mpg4 and select the output quality you want. I prefer perceptually lossless. Hit ctrl plus f12 and see the magic. I didn't like this result, so I decided to variate my project a little bit. First I increase the power of the lights. Play with the IOR of the crystal. Position it better my camera. Add a material for the plane. And done. This is the final result. Hope you learned something today. 
If you give a like and a comment I will really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. This is other result I made. Hope you are having a nice day. Bye.